everybody, it's Ingrid from Twinkle and I'm here to talk to you about connectives and conjunctions. If you're not sure what a conjunction is, it's basically the glue that pulls parts of a sentence together. These are words like and, but, and or. For example, I might say I smiled at the cat but she snubbed me. Bears may look cuddly, but they can be dangerous. The dog licked me and my heart melted. In these examples, the words and and but are the conjunctions that are pulling these two ideas together. You can also use conjunctions to add a bit more information onto a sentence. For example, the dog licked me and smiled. Conjunctions are a kind of connective because they connect ideas in a sentence, but connectives can also help connect ideas between separate sentences and separate paragraphs. These can be words like However, therefore, fortunately, meanwhile, stuff like that. Let's look at an example of a sentence including both conjunctions and connectives. I almost missed work this morning because I slept through my alarm. Luckily, a car beeped outside and it woke me up. In the sentence are conjunctions are there, words like and and because. But another connective would be the word luckily because it's connecting both of these events together, even though they're in separate sentences. If you're looking for ways to help students become more familiar with using conjunctions and other connectives, you might be interested in this connectives word map by Twinkle. If we take a look at it now, it has lists of different connectives and conjunctions which are separated into separate categories. Having something like this on hand makes it easier for students to find the perfect words to connect their ideas and help their sentences flow a bit better. Word maps are really versatile, so students can stick them in their books, their desks, or just keep them somewhere nearby so they can refer to them in writing tasks. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.